I'm just surprised that Don King is still alive, man. I just looked his age up. He's 86. This dude is old as, man, he was born into slavery. He was born into the Jim Crow era where they had slave codes and and, and meritorious manumission laws and, and, and that kind of thing. This dude is old as in a mug. I mean, he's old in a mug, man. And <laughs> once again, shout out to Black Sports Online for posting this, uh, this, this interview that uh he did on fox um as you know fox <laughs> the uh the coon cold network out there trying to promote a fight that he has coming up i don't even know what fighters he got signed he probably got some damn some random ass fighters because no you know no recognize or any fighter of any weight division with cachet will sign with Don King. You know, this is, they, they know this. Don King has been a part of the old tradition of, of boxing promoters. And, uh, but he's still, you know, he's still out there doing his thing. Him and Bob Arum are still alive, upright. They still got beef. These two dudes are the oldest dudes living that still got beef for over 50 years. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I am not going to play this interview that he did. You can just check out the link below in the description. Check out the interview that he did on uh, Fox on Fox News to promote his fight. Um, you know, this dude has had a mental health issue. Um, again, he was born into slavery, born into the Jim Crow era. So, uh, you know, he acknowledges that <laughs> President Trump, a.k.a. Clockwork Orange, and I shouldn't call him president, just call him Clockwork Orange, Trump. Um, he says that he's the best president since the slavery ones. And he also mentioned in the interview that all blacks are liars. It, he just sounded like some old, it just sounded like an old senile dude that's just coming up with random ass quotes. Um, but I must say the dude is 86 years old. He's still, you know, I, I guess he's still functional, right? You know, to a point where he's one step away from going into a uh retirement home <laughs> but he's still upright doing his thing you know what i mean but yeah man don king is one of the original coon code authors it's two types of people black people specifically you know that you have to deal with black people that want to end white supremacy or black people that want to support white supremacy it's no gray area there's no gray area whatsoever you know what I'm saying? So, of course, Don King wants to support white supremacy and acknowledge white supremacy because he, he thinks and knows that Donald Trump, a.k.a. Clockwork Orange, is a white supremacy enabler. He made overt white supremacy cool again, which is that that phrase, make America great again. Make America how it was back in the Jim Crow era. Make America great again how it was in the slavery days. Make America great again, how black people were treated, subjugated, castrated, you know, <laughs> mistreated. Everything you can think of for over 500 years. Bring that kind of cachet, bring that kind of relevance back into today's society and make it just make it how it was back then. That's what Donald Trump or I should say, that's what Don King acknowledges and supports. He supports overt white supremacy, and he's one of the coon original forefathers of the coon code, writing the coon book. You know, for the, for those of you follow me for any significant amount of time, you guys know that when I phrase the, the term coon code, I'm referring to black people because they say black people don't follow a code. We need to be on code this, that, and the third. When I say that black people do follow a code, it's called the coon code. That's the only code that black people follow and acknowledge. So Don King, like I said, is the original, or at least one of the original Coon Code authors because he follows that book to a T, which is why he openly supports someone like a, a Clockwork Orange, AKA Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that, that, that interview, man, he was out there talking about black people are all liars. Trump is the best president since the slavery ones. He said that, um, well, he said that he was trying to buck the system, trying to break the system, 
I'm like, what system? He made, again, he made overt white supremacy cool again. You know, he made not only overt white supremacy cool again, but be a misogynistic, racist, openly racist, uh, just senile dude who was selected to be president of the United States. And that's Donald Trump, a.k.a. Clockwork Orange. Straight up bottom line. All right. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on on that particular interview. Y'all can check out the full interview. Check uh, check out the link in my description. You'll see it down there. Uh, once again, shout out to Black Sports Online for posting this. Um, and also shout out to uh, my last, well, not my last video, but the video I did regarding uh, The Breakfast Club and how they treated or, or ambushed Michael Blackston. Uh, it's reached, it's almost at 100K views, which is crazy. So regardless of how you feel about that video, thanks for watching. And for those who are subscribed because of that video, much respect. Um, make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you can check out my latest and greatest videos. And also I will be doing a weekly, weekly wrap up video every Friday, 10 PM Eastern time for one hour where I share my thoughts on, um, the current issues in black society for that week. And I just try to interact with my subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Regarding all areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. I cover all areas. Well, I can talk about somebody in the entertainment industry, somebody in sports, um, whatever the case may be. I'll share my thoughts on what's going on in black society. And, you know, it is what it is. But that video is getting a lot. It's still getting a lot of views. I'm still getting a lot of subs from that video. So shout out to everybody who watched that video, good or bad. You know, I, I've seen a lot of dumbass comments. Most of the comments are retarded, to be by the way, to be honest. But you watch the video anyway, and it is what it is. So... <laughs> Whatever I said, you know, it, it, it sparked up a lot of interest and people commenting and, you know, people felt some type of way regarding what I said. So it is what it is. But anyway, fam, those are my thoughts on the video. Uh, like I said, you can check out the interview in the description on Black Sports Online. All right. Leave your comments down below about this. Uh, what Don King said about Trump clockwork orange. Let me know what you guys think now, down below and in the description. Until next time, family, Chauncey, a.k.a. the Black Separatist. Signing out. Peace.